in um, in Nahum, just a just a quick lesson on on the Ismul Munada. So we did a lesson on the Ismul, the Harful Nida, and the Ismul Munada. So what what did we learn about that? What were the rules that we learned? We said you'd have a a harful nida, and it would be followed by a ismul munada, a word that is in nas. Sometimes it shows that it's in nas, sometimes it doesn't show that it's in nas. Right? And I told you the harful nida. There's a number of harful nidas, uh, but the most, the one that applies most universally is yeah, yeah. Right? There are others. Sometimes when you want to call something, you go munada al qalib, like I told you. Ah. And I, I, then you get a ah, and aya and haya and wa. Those are all like you can say uh, wa sabaha. If you watch the Umar series or something, you might have heard them like expressions like that. Um, but ya is the one that applies most universally. That's what focus on, and that's the only one that's used in the Quran. Then, so that's basically what we're going to do. And I just want to tell you something. Uh, we said that if a word is, uh, if it's a single word, then it's going to be, what did we say about it? That's in Nasb, it's always in Nasb, but it's going to be, Mabini Ana? Nea Ana Tomma. Mabini Ana Tomma. And if it is, Part of a mudaf, mudaf ilay construction, then it's going to be nasb and it's going to, it's going to show that it's in nasb. Right. So there's actually five cases. We have what we call al mufrad al ma'rifa, a single word that's definite. Um, like al rajul. It's a singular word and it's definite. Right? Then you have an indefinite word, but it's referring to a specific person. Right? Then you can have an indefinite word, but it's not referring to a specific person. Then you can have the Ismul Munada being a mudaf, and then you can have the case where it is like a mudaf. I'm going to say those five cases again. Definite, singular word, definite. Singular word, indefinite, but referring to something specific. Singular word, indefinite, not referring to something specific, someone specific. Then move off and like move off. The first one was definite word. So definite, indefinite and specific, uh, indefinite, not specific, and then move off and like move off. So we already know. Um, Maaf, Maulana, what's the difference between the mudaf and the light mudaf? Isn't all the mudaf light? Not, not light. I'm saying like a mudaf. It's not oh. a mudaf, but it's like a mudaf. Oh, okay. Correct. Like what we call that week, a shabihu bil mudaf. The case in terms of Michael, like the Dhamma and the Dhamma for 
Soy un Messi, soy un segundo de Juan. Y es que no hay un segundo que no tiene un segundo. So, I'm going to first tell you, when do you see the Nasu? When do you see that it's in Nasu? The first one we already know, when it is, move off. Another time when you see the Nasu is when it's Nakira and not specific. I think on the list that I gave you, that's number three. Yes, indefinite, not specific. So the first two, the first one is definite, the second one is indefinite, but specific. The third one is indefinite, not specific. The fourth one was move off. The third one was like move off. Right? So number three, four, and five, you see the nasu. And I'm going to give you an example of each of them. Right? And number one and two, that's my video on the So I'm going to give you an example. Uh, unfortunately, the board is not working, but for those that are online, you can see I'm going to, I'm going to tell it to you for those that are here. If I want to say, like I'm saying in poetry, um, or just in, in, it doesn't be in poetry, but, but like I'm just saying, Oh, heedless person, take note. But I wanted to apply to any person that's heedless. Then you will show that it's enough. That's nakira and it's not specific, right? So then you will say, like, Ya Rafi Len. Ya Rafi Len. It's nakira, it shows that it's in nakira and it shows that it's enough. Mudaf, very simple. Ya Abdullah, Ya Rasulullah. We had enough examples of that, right? Nice. Thank you. Then number four, something like a mudaf is when you have a, when you have a, a single indefinite word, but then there's something after that qualifies it, like. يا حسنا خلقه يا حسنا خلقه that means a oh, person of good character you translate it as a oh, person of good character Sorry, Mauren. On the last one, yeah, Hassanan. So that's Tanween, uh, even though it's Mudaf. It's like a Mudaf. It's like a Mudaf. It's not, it's not exactly a Mudaf, Mudaf, in the Ilai construction. You could just say, yeah, Hassanan, but you're not going to know what's being spoken about. So the next part of the word comes in quality. Yeah, Hassanan, Hulu, Hu, Hu. Must come like that. It's Mumunan. Okay, so we had, so, so first we see the ones that actually show the us is the number three, four, and five, right? Nakira, not specific. That's like if I'm just trying to refer to anyone. Yeah, Rafi, Len, Len, Yeah, um, Qari, An, Al Quran. It can refer to any recital of the Quran. That's indefinite. And it is not specific. The second one is a mudaf. That's very simple. Ya Abdullah, Ya Rasulullah. We give another example of the Tafi. And then the last one is the trickiest one. It's something that's like a mudaf. Ya Hassanan Kuduhu. A person of good character. Then number one and two. The definite word, the singular word that's definite. And the 
indefinite word, but a specific person is intended. Those are mabni on a dhamma, but they are in mahalliyas. And the first time a definite word is going to be like your proper nouns. Muhammadu, ya Muhammadu. Ya, the example they give you, ya Zuhayru. Ya Thabit, whatever name is. Ya Ismailu. Ya Musa. Okay, but that's not what we have to talk about. It stays like that. Ya, whatever. Ya Fatima tu. Ya Aisha tu. That's different. It's a different word. Probably on the bottom. So that's example of number one. The example of number two is if I'm in a conversation and I say to a person, Ya Rajulu. Ya Rajulu. So Rajulu is the word. But because it's, there is a specific person intended, like in the discussion, there's a specific person intended. I'm not saying it doesn't refer to any man, it refers to this man that I'm speaking to, Ya Rajul. So it's Ya Rajul. It's, it's originally an indefinite word, but because a specific person is intended, it's just going to be Mabini Anna Bam. There's no Bam. Indefinite words don't have Bam. The first time you might think would usually have a, a definite word. But you see, yeah, it's words that's definitely meaning. Like a name is proper nouns. Like if I say, yeah, Khalidu. Um, or, or you give me a name that has an arm. Like for example, I can't just say Yani Sa'an. That would just refer to any woman. But if I say Yani Sa'u, like this, I'm coming to the cross and I say Yani Sa'u. That's referring to specific. So it's indifferent, but it's referring to specific. And that gives you all your cases. Yes. Yes, Mudaf. Ya Kaumi. It's Mudaf. Mudaf Unjay. The ya is a half of nida, the ayuha is a small nida, and the nasu is by the zi. So it's like, oh, you, I can just say the ya you. Uh, the address is already in there, and nas, or I could just say ya nas. So that's why it's a. Ayuha is the is the small nida, and the nasu is by the zi. Yeah, this must be so on to you. No, no, no. But Allah Dina is remember it's always in Nasu. It's always in Nasu. But it just it either shows the Nas or it doesn't show. It either shows the Nas or it's Babylon and Bam. Now, if I have Ya Ayyuha Ladina, that word is already Mabni. So it just stays like, it's not going to change to a, um, it just stays like, like how it is before. The Mabni word doesn't change. Ayyuha is an above meaning, uh, but here yeah, you will say it like Ayyu. Sometimes Ayyu can mean which. 
W H I C H, but Yato will just mean like O U. Um, and I think that comes down to one of those cases where, um, like, a half has various meanings as well. Like the feminine form is a yetu. Yeah, a yetu in the sutra. Why? Why? So it will be referring to a specific. It's, you, you see, you mustn't think of a you have as more often, more often like. I like just think of that whole thing, A U have as one thing. So it is made up of two parts, but just think of it as one thing. Right? And then it's just it's just a reference to a specific group of people. Oh people. Now we're not referring to general, we're referring to all of them. So it is it, it, it is not so that it is it is a specific, everybody's including a specific. It's universal, at least to everyone. Not some at the expense of others. I don't know if that makes sense. Or not. Yeah. That's not indefinite. Because you are referring to everyone. So it's definite that you're referring to everyone. You understand? So it's it's you can you can say that it falls under um I mean, it simply falls under one or two, but it falls under one. Uh, okay. Let me just get it. No, no, no. One, all of them are in this. Yes. One or two don't show it. And three, four, and five show it. You said so it falls under one or two. You don't know if you can. You can't people not think about that, then may be a possibility that they may not come to all the Okay, if they don't come at all, then we'll carry on with all of that, of course. Um, Sorry, Mona, one question again on the like mudal. So the second word doesn't have to be in jar. Say again? So if you've got hasanan, hulu, the second, like the mudal, when you lay part, doesn't have to actually be in jar, it can be in any oh, other house. But so, but so is the huluku he or huluku in, in the example number five? But remember, number five is not a mudafu, that's like a mudafu. If it was, if it was a mudafu, then it would be very simple. Nas and then a wedding jar. Yes. We, we haven't had a lesson on what are things that are like a mudah. Oh, okay. that's, that's what might confuse you, but um, that's something that, like, in meaning, when you translate it, you translate it like a mudah. Um, okay, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, but it's not in form, it's not a mudah. Okay. okay. Okay, so when you want to refer to something that has an L, then you will have this uh, right?
um, whenever you want to call something that has an alpha, then you will have either you put a you have or a yet to have. If, if I wanted to say, oh people, then I would just say, yeah, nasu. But if I want to keep the out, then I have to say, yeah, ayyuha nas. Ayyuha an nas. Like, look in the Quran, you'll find it uh, like that. Ya ayyuha al insan. Ya ayyuha al nafsu. Ya ayyuha al nasu. That's all example. And if you don't have the ayyuha or ayyatuha, then you have to have the ismul ishaa. Yeah. Al is actually Ismu al Mansur. That's your that's your example. Yeah. So so you will just have that um you'll have that egg you have it. But in terms of how we make our output, we'll say that ayyuha is ismu munada. And just like when you have a harf, when you have ismu ishara and musharu ilayhi, the actual arab of it is that the one gets the hal of whatever it is. So, for example, if I say, ya hadha rajul, ya hadha rajul, I'm going to have ya, harf al nida, hadha, ismu munada, and the rajul is going to be what? So, so when we learn it, we call it Musharu Ilay, but the technical term they will be Padam. Because I could just say, Yeah, Hada, or I could say, Yeah, Raju. Right? So, the, how they would make it wrong technically is we call the, the first thing, Yeah, you have, you have, is Munada, and and Nasu, but then. Anyways, just to go back on the session, all that I wanted to point out, in addition to what we learned before, on the on the Harful Nida and the Ismul Munada, the Harful Nida is not enough, but this is actually on the Ismul Munada. Is that the Ismul Munala is always in Nasu, right? That we learned already. Sometimes it shows its Nasu, sometimes it doesn't show its Nasu, right? And that we also learned before, right? But what the only detail that I wanted to add this week is to tell you that there's five different cases, right? Those five, number one and two. Um, number three, four, and five show the nasu. One and two is a different word, ya Muhammadu. Yes, it is. So it's going to be ayyaha, ayyaha. It's always going to be ya ayyaha. You don't confuse with e yeah, and other haruf similar to that. It's going to be memory on the phone. All right, that's one and two. It's a different word, an indefinite word where a specific is intended. Number three, indefinite word, no specific person is intended. Um, Number four, mubaf. Number five, something that's like a mubaf. It's not a mubaf, but it's like a mubaf. That's okay, that's all that I want to do ahead of you today. So now, um, 
The most common ones that you're going to find, right, is going to be number one and number four. Just one verse or so. 